Because we booked today, she didn't you. No, I, di I didn't book it. She doesn't respond to my emails anymore, but this... What? Why not? I don't know. We got beef. They don't want Jungle Beats Radio to shine. You don't want to see us. They don't want to see us win, man. What the fuck, man? I don't know. I actually don't know. But um, it's this. Still, that's pretty unprofessional. We, still. Maybe she doesn't do it anymore. And no one's. She hasn't forwarded you the new EP or new manager or whatever the fuck. I don't know. I don't know. See, but, this is the shit we gotta deal with. Though. You know, we'll be. Oh. Do you think we could. Maybe we could get. Say we get so turned. This is what happens when we get hype. Oh, oh, you know. So like everything's still here. Like I, I like how they cover this, but just let this shit get covered. Like that's so bad for this. <laughs> Like if this shit gets in the joints, I don't know. In the what? The joints, bro. The joints. What do you look, mean? Look at this. It's like cobwebs on you, motherfucker. And it's like, like wow. Have we really been away for that long? <laughs> like well, yeah, two weeks. Two man. weeks. So there we got the, cobwebs. Why the hell this shit has been here? Lambo. Lambo. You like that shallow type? You like that Lamborghini? Lambo. That's how Kendrick does it, right? Oh, hold up. I had something in my mouth. Pause, 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 pause. pause. She went everywhere, bro. Oh, man, I got stories to tell. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of, yo. Denzel Curry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So There's always that one guy in the audience. You went and saw Denzel Curry how long ago? Uh, damn, it'd be like probably... Like a week ago now. By the way, this, last Thursday. this is Jungle Beats Radio, Yo, the we... Australia's plug to the best hip hop in the world. Um, and Denzel Curry was in Melbourne, Australia. Yes, he was last Thursday, I believe. I went down to see him because I'm a massive fan. First experience? time I seen him. Whoa. First time? Bruh. Mm -hmm. Bruh. Mm -hmm. So I went there, got there super early. And like, before it even started, there was a DJ hyping the crowd up. And the crowd already started like getting their little circles and pushing each other and jumping around, getting crazy, just to the DJ playing. And the kids ended up being like, oh, man, can we play our own shit? The kids were, like, running off. Really? Going the, yeah, playing their own shit. The and fans the fans were coming in and yeah. giving me and the AOX. Yeah, yeah, and they will just stop, like, skipping their songs every single minute. Like, they wouldn't let a track finish, because you know how kids are, man. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're like, oh, let's play a minute of Bad and Bougie by Margaret. Oh, oh, no way, man, let's play a minute of Ended Up by Travis Scott. Oh, back to Bad and Bougie. No, they're just like that sort of shit. By the way, Migos now the number one track in the US, Bad and Bougie. Bro, shout out to Charles Gambino, Donald Glover for yeah, letting me check out that dope ass song. It's pretty dope. What was it called? I don't know, but Bad and Bougie. Yeah, that's the Migos. one. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Migos, but I shout out to them for doing their thing because that track does bang. I mean, I don't like them in particular because their style is very, mm, but you know that track bangs. And that's the music video when they're in, the, in like the ice, right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, fucking yeah. dope cinematic uh, cinematography. It's yeah, it's pretty. Please dope. Please continue, Denzel. Curry. Anyway, so I got there. I uh, start off with a, a rapper. Sorry, I can't remember your name. He's from Cam Sydney. Yeah, from Sydney, I believe. And uh, he he rocked it. He rocked it real well. He had some hard shit. Had some good bars. He got the, he got the crowd going. Uh, his DJ was like half hype man, half DJ. He got in the crowd as well for a bit. So every, everyone's already getting into it. And you know that that's sort of. By the time it's over, Denzel Curry. You know he hypes himself up. His his DJ, who's like really good friends with, pretty much his best friend. He's getting the crowd going. It's packed to the max now. Um, sold out. I'm, I'm yeah yeah sold out. Whew. And I'm I'm a uh, and they, they changed venue at the last like a day before it even started because they yeah. wanted to have more people and they oh, sold they sold out for the last, last few tickets because heaps more people want tickets. So they awesome. went from Toff to change to uh, to Max Watts. Mm. And I was about four four from the front on the side because I don't want to be part of the big mosh. But then Denzel Curry comes on, and he starts off with a uh, fuck. What did he start off with? I think it was Narcotics. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hard track. As soon as that started, I got right in the fucking middle, man. I got right at the front. I got right there. Well, not like I was like two for the front, but like and everyone was started going crazy. And then he like he it was great. He did a good mixture of his albums. He played a lot from um from uh, 32 Zell. He played a, a few tracks like Parents, uh, and one of the other tracks from uh, Nostalgia 64. And he played all the bangers like Story No Title, ULT. ULT. Oh. oh man, he played all the bangers. He even played um. <laughs> Flying Nimbus 305, which is so damn hard track. and like, So he went all of his discography. Yeah, but the best thing about Denzel that I thought was that he was just so good with his his short interactions with the crowd. Like, in what way? Like he was, and he was, well, first off, like, in terms of his rapping, his aggression, it's just as good live than when he is in his albums. He's just sitting there, nice. bar for bar, not, not missing a check. And then there'd be stages, and the crowd's going mental as well, man. Like, by the end of that concert, I, I would feel like I was going to pass out. I smelled the worst of it smelled my life. Everyone else did around me. Like, I was just 
up there just having the time of my life. And like, how was the crowd? Was the crowd kind of the crowd very was, aggressive? Like you thought mm, I couldn't really fucking breathe, or is it okay? Oh yeah, the crowd was very aggressive, but at the same time, like say if someone fell over and knocked off, everyone would go to help them up. Like oh, everyone was nice, like nice, everyone nice. was really aggressive, but no one was aggressive in the sense that like you know they'd want to fucking kill somebody. <laughs> but uh. But then it got to the stage where Denzel was getting in the crowd, everyone was getting in the crowd, and he was like, yo, what? Split the crowd, split the crowd. He's like, split the crowd up. In the middle, when I fucking start this motherfucking song, you're going to fucking run the fuck in the middle <laughs> as fast dope. as you fucking can. That's so great. And I was like, oh! And then like we all just fucking rushed, and everyone's <laughs> going fucking nuts, jumping around. And I can't remember what track it was, and then he ended up like stopping and playing like other tracks in between, and you know, and doing it, having a bit of fun with the crowd. And there was a there was a stage also where you got like this guy on the track, the guy the guy on the stage was a fucking huge Asian dude, shout out Richie, I think that was his name, and he jumped in the crowd, and it was really bad because the first he jumped time he, in the crowd, how the big fir- was he? Pretty big. The first time he jumped, no one called me, just belly flopped. <laughs> <off the crowd. laughs> and Denzel Curry stopped, he's like, yo. How the fuck you let this man fucking die? Like, yo, yo, get back up here. Get the, get the fuck back up, Richie. We're doing that again. You motherfuckers are going to catch him. So you know what? Starts the track in, jumps on. We catch him and crowd surf this fat motherfucker for about three minutes. You know, three I, minutes of crowd surfing. Holy shit. And after that, he got back on stage and stayed up there for the rest of the fucking concert. He was Hype a fan? Man. He was a fan. And you know what? By the end of the... Like, that's the, that's the thing. From the start to the finish, he <laughs> kept... From the start to the finish, he kept getting people onto the stage. Like, that's he saw a girl. It's like He saw this girl. was like, you're so beautiful. And he's like, come on stage. Come on stage. And she was just sitting there all shy, just filming it all and gave him a hug and shit. And it's like, you guys, you guys. And oh, that's right. He, um, he did Ultimate twice in a row because Ultimate's the hardest track. And that's when the crowd was mental. Then he goes, look, look, look. I'm willing to fucking pay you $100 at bar for bar. You can spit Ultimate without fucking up. So he got someone on stage. Uh, he also got someone on stage to do Suicide Boys, South, uh, South Suicide, uh, what track was it? Southside Suicide, which is with uh, with Puyo, which is my favorite uh, Suicide Boys track. And um, the guy fucked up, he couldn't do it. But then he got a guy on stage to do Ultimate, and he's like, they're going like, so basically they put on the stage, dun, 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 are they dun. doing it, are they rapping it to each other? No, he's, he rap, he's rapping it, it in a microphone to Denzel, and Denzel's like right next to his face, listen to every single word. And first guy, about 20 seconds in. No, 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 you failed. Off, off, get your ass off the stage. Next, next. You, you, get up here. I don't give a fuck. You know the lyrics? Fuck it, come up here. 10 seconds, bang, gone. Next guy. And I, about the fourth guy, there was this guy, come on, this big ass black dude. And it's like, he just like took the mic and said, yo, I'm fucking ready for this shit. And Denzel's like, this man's a rapper. This, I don't give a fuck. This man knows his shit. And the guy spat so hard. And he got about a minute and a half in. And Denzel's like, I'm sorry, man. Like, he just missed that one bit. He, like, he didn't, he wasn't being nice or anything. He's like, nah, man, you just missed that one bit. Sorry, man. Like, but, you know, props to you, man. They, like, hugged it out. And she went back in. And Denzel's like, all right, let's sing this motherfucking song properly. And he just did that shit again. That's awesome. That sounds like just, such a great experience. It was so fun, man. And then at the end, at the end of it, when people were leaving, he came back out and started signing fan shit, getting That's photos dope. with the fans. I, I, I had a big quick conversation with him. I'm like, look, man, fucking, I really enjoyed your thing tonight. Like, I love you. And it's cool because during the whole concert, he was like really aggressive, really getting the crowd excited. But afterwards, all that is gone. And he's super calm, collected, hmm. and put his thoughts together. Like, he was not anything like it was then to what That's he was. And having fun. And there was a fan that like, got him a little present, like a little like laser eye sort of thing that he can wear. And he's like checking out, laughing about. It. Like, it's just the interaction with the fans was beautiful, man. So it was definitely one of my one of my best experiences. That sounds like su- yeah, such yes. It was a great it was great, such man. It was really good. Such a fun night. Oh. Uh, but you, you though, you oh, went to chance the rapper. Yeah, I went to chip. But, but damn, they didn't even catch him. <laughs> then he just was he okay? The the guy uh, who belly flopped. Yeah, he was alright. Like his glasses fell off, and straight away one guy picked him up and gave him to him. Like it was really good. Like it was a rough crowd. Like I had bruises and shit all over me, but like people still cared for each other. Damn. And I've never, I don't think I've been, normally when there's a rough crowd, people don't give a fuck. But like, you know, people who are drunk, the, the drunk people were there, but no one was at the point where no one got dragged off. No one was kicked out. Everyone was like at the stage of enjoyment where we all just got along. It was, it was a great experience, man. It's great to hear. Nah. It's great to hear. Shout out, Richie. Sorry for calling you a fat motherfucker, man. <laughs> right. And it got to the stage where like the last 10 people, he was like, nah, like I got to go now. Sorry. I'd love to do this, but like, I just, you know, I got to do Cause he had an after party to go. And it's understandable. He's already, you know, done his stuff. He don't, he don't do it. Yeah. He's made other commitments. Exactly. Exactly. So, and everyone respected that as well. No one got angry about it. I was like, dope. You know, people treat him like a person. No one treat him like a, like, you know, like an artist. Like an artist. (laughs) That's funny. I I think it's true. I feel like, well, that's why like, I never try and like, I never try and get photos with people. Like I only will if I feel like they're a friend. Mm-hmm. If there's someone new that I I listen to their music but I don't know them personally, I think it's weird for me to get a photo with someone well, I barely even know. Do you ever know Renatus personally? What do you mean personally? As in like just know them as a friend, like see them all the time. 
So you know, you, cause that means you can't ask like for photos from pretty much any artist. Is well, that yeah, right? by was, that rule. Well, yeah, I just, I just, I just want to be that person that they look at and they see like, oh, this guy just doesn't want to get a photo of me. He just wants to have a conversation with me. He doesn't want to use me for social media just to show that he's with me. I feel you. That's just how I feel. Like I just want to, when I, when I'm with an artist, like I just want to let them, let them feel like that I'm just, just, just a friend of theirs, just someone that's like happy to look into that more about their work, craft, and what they're doing with their lives instead of just their image. Understandable, respectable. Yeah. Yo, now we got. I went to a chance to rap a concert day before mm. Denzel Curry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I managed to purchase the VIP experience package Ooh. as well as a ticket, which means you get a uh, meet and greet for Chance the Rapper. Yeah. Now, first off the bat, I would never, I would never recommend you go to a Chance the Rapper meet and greet VIP. Um, or just any meet and greet VIP. I can't say I haven't been to any others. Uh, First true, opportunity true. I got, so I wanted to take it. Yeah, I would yeah, not yeah. recommend you go to a Chance the Rapper meet and greet in the future if he ever does it. Why? Let me explain. Let me explain why. The concert was amazing. I'll get to that after that. But the performance was mm. great, soulful, beautiful, interactive. So many positives. Okay, one of the best I've been to. But the VIP experience. So they had us six thirty. You meet us at six thirty here. Um, um, and then we'll let you in shortly after, okay? Guarante- uh, early entry was guaranteed to the floor. Um, you have a crowd-free merchandise and some other perks that were really nice um, that, yeah, yeah. that people wanted to, to have. Uh, so I got there early, like at 1 p.m. early, realized I was at the wrong door, got to the other door at uh, 2 p.m. Um, because they were not clear on which door to wait outside of for VIP unless you walked around the whole venue and looked for yourself. Anyway, yeah. got there, cool, I'm third in line. Cool. I now another six hours, five six hours to wait. All right. So now there's about a uh, about a hundred people got the VIP experience yeah, um, yeah, yeah. for this Melbourne show. So I'm like third in line. Cool. Wait. Uh, like all day. Six thirty comes. We're not la- we're not still not let in. Um, seven o'clock comes. No word. Seven thirty. It's been over an hour. And seven thirty is when they let GA in, right? And so when seven thirty they let the uh, general admission in, that means we don't get early entry. How are we supposed to get early entry if they're gonna let GA in? So you waited. Six motherfucking hours to yes. not even get to the front. Yes. So, you, but you're always at the front, though. Yes. And you didn't get there. Now, if you see on my Instagram, you see like I use that as a platform to share my photos and experiences from these places. Mm-hmm. I love taking photos. I love it. All right. And I wasn't at the front this time. And fuck the photos at the end. The experience changes if depending on where you're on the crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, luckily, this crowd was respectful and nice. I didn't get squished or anything. But. I would have wanted to be at the front because that's what I had planned and those were... F- fuck what I had planned. Those were the stipulations of um, the, the ticket, yeah. early entry, right? Uh, that uh, Those were not adhered to. We were let in past 8 p.m., meaning we waited... Uh, so 6.30, we waited over 90 minutes, 90 minutes to two hours. Some people at the back would have waited two hours um, from that 6.30 point just to meet Chance the Rapper. That's not even worth the VIP, though, if you ain't getting the seats that you promise. And on top of that, mm-hmm. this this interaction was extremely rushed. Did, I don't know. Did I tell you? No, I don't yeah. think I t- you haven't the, spoken to me yet because we're waiting for this. The, we were waiting for this. The interaction with Chance the Rapper was extremely rushed. So they allow us into they they like one by one. It's very like systematic. That chance of safety is the main priority. Understandable. Mm. Um, so you go into a room. You can see Chance at the end of the room, and they let uh, one person in. You have like stop points. Okay, you stop here, and then you let the next person stop here. Right. So I go cool. Give daps to Chance. Chance looks. Uh, a little high, um, which makes <laughs> sense because I heard the the van that he came in was full of smoke and shit. I heard from people late, walking. <laughs> yeah, he was late. That's why. So the van mm-hmm. pulled up at like eight p.m. and then we waited to be let in. So he was late. So we had to be. It was very rushed. So as soon as I give him daps, um, I started explaining the gift I bought for him. I bought him. Uh, I created for him a T-shirt. Said I met Kanye West. I'm never gonna fail. Actually, it's on me right now. You can see it. Right. I made this, but I put. It was a long sleeve version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had the good music logo at the front because obviously um, Kanye and him are very good friends and he's mm. family, good music family, yeah, right? So I made that long sleeve version for him, albeit uh, it's probably too big, I realized. He's a smaller dude than I, <laughs> than I anticipated. Um, and then I made him a poster. That's dope, okay? I, As I was five seconds into explaining the gift I bought for him, the gift that I spent money and time and energy on, I'm being, not that they give a fuck, but uh, the photographer is like, all right, I'm about to take a photo. Come on, let's go, let's go quick. quick blah, blah, blah. And five seconds in, and so I'm like, "Fuck!" Uh, 
I stop what I'm I stop explaining what I'm explaining and um, give him the gift and then we take a quick photo and I didn't get to ask him the question I wanted to ask him you know I had it planned in my head I wanted to ask him X question about uh, you know and uh, it's about a 15 second interaction and um, that's not worth 280 Australian dollars to me no you would have got more time it's just that you know what they should have done when he was when they knew that he was coming late they should have been like look he is coming around late. Sorry, going to be no interaction. Yep. You can come in early, mm-hmm. get your spot, and we refund your ticket, and you just get charged for normal. Mm-hmm. That's what they should have done. I feel like it's not Chance's fault on this. I mean, it is his fault for being late, but I feel like it's more the people that organize its fault for not doing a better job. And the organizers, there's chances, chances, a plate people though. The, I, we talked to the venue and like, when's he coming or what's going on? Mm. And the venue staff said, we have nothing to do with this. This is, this is, um, his organization's doing. Like, they organize this externally outside mm. of the venue. Um, I see what you mean. This is why he's saying for when you get a chance, don't do it because it's purely these guys. Yeah, it's not the shit. venue. It's not uh, wherever it was, what, 170 Russell Street, wherever it was. It's not mm-hmm. It's not them. Um, s- to my knowledge, it was the uh, Chance the Rapper uh, staff and group. And I emailed them multiple times, explained the situation, kindly asking for a refund. I got no reply. And... Um, Fuck, you don't have to give me a refund. I'm not entitled to anything. But can you at least reply? So by that, I'm using this platform that we have, a mm-hmm. small platform to demonstrate uh, the story of what happened and the recommendation of not to do any more meet and greets for Chance the Rapper. And yeah, he's made probably hundreds well, of thousands of dollars from I it. I feel if Chance the Rapper saw this, he'd probably refund it because he's the sort of guy that like, if the tickets are too... Remember that thing where the tickets were too much? We re-bought all the tickets and sold them for cheaper yeah. to the public. Like, I'm pretty sure... But if he knew, because he probably, like said he was probably high enough, if he probably knew that, like, it wasn't meant to be the way it was and the way that ways went out, he'd right. be like, oh, shit, I feel bad for my fans, I'll buy that shit back. And I feel like he would do that. I feel like, though, when you're high, you'd give less fucks as well, which is why he didn't <laughs> yeah. seem like he wanted to be there. Like, he didn't yeah. seem like he wanted to be there. He didn't seem, like, very happy. Man, uh, you, you can't force shit all the time. No, I mean, you I know, can't. No. He's met thousands of fans over the last months. Who knows what the fuck was going through his mind? Yeah. Who knew? He knew what the fuck Kanye was doing. Who knows? Who knows? But... The experience of the concert was great. I, I kind of, I felt bad about maneuvering my way through the crowd. Like I, I realized, well, this is now I know why I spend all that time lining up, so I don't have to piss people off when I kind of cut in front of them. I don't like doing that. But I got to like four, five rows back, six rows back. That's all right. And I, and I got a decent position. Um, I'm not, I'm not short, so it helps. Like yourself. Yeah, man. So easy for me. Chance gets on. People ever go crazy, and he's just a beautiful performance. You know. He he he's so interactive with the crowd. He had a great energy. The vi- the visuals, the visuals, and the actual experience of the concert was one of the highlights. He had like the backdrop behind him was really great. Every song that changed it was perfectly timed. Every song that changed, the visuals changed. Right? There was no, it was flawless performance. Right? He had big smoke whoosh, that flew in the air like this gas smoke. Whoosh, I can't describe it properly, you know, <laughs> doing the, nobody can see me yeah. who's listening, but, you know. And then on one of the last songs, Confetti Drops from the Roof. Woo! The One of the soulful songs from... Motherfuckers gonna clean that shit up. Coloring. <laughs> <laughs> it was everywhere. But oh, it was yes. like, hallelujah. What do you close on? Mm-hmm. Was it no problem? I can't remember. You oh, it was probably, I think it was from Tender or something. I fucking love, was it, was it, um... I can't remember. Was it family? Family man? Uh, I don't know. I think so. Not family. My mama? My mama? Actually, he actually finished with sort of like a soulful kind of rendition of like, you know, did his own thing. Like he he, he kind of used the live band and the, the, the experiment, social the experiment. social experiment mm, um, on the fly to kind of, you know, do his own thing. You know, That's he'd so kind cool, of riff man. off them and like do humming and singing and stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah. great performance. One of the best I've been to. I'd really recommend the performance and concert very highly, but not the meet and greet. That's my experience of Chance the Rapper.